Carly, what do you have there? I have a snap pad and an antenna. That's right. We got some projects that we're about to do. We figured, why not? It's a beautiful day, and uh, we got a couple things we need to knock out on the on the camper. It's Easter weekend, um, beautiful weather. I yeah. got some time at home. I'm not traveling, so. That's right. So we're just gonna jump into it. The antenna we got to put on because we need more space in the garage. We'll go over that in just a minute. And the snap pads are gonna be a bonus. We'll go over that here t soon too. So stick around. As you see here, we have the King Jack antenna, which we basically have one of those on top of our camper already. And I guess it works fine. I don't know, we haven't even watched TV uh, in our new camper. <laughs> but we are gonna change it out to basically this. It's, it's, another, it's another new uh, King Jack antenna. The only difference is it's not as tall this way. We so. always call this an ET head. Or an ET head, okay. <laughs> so. Like this one is, I think it's about nine inches tall. The one that's up there is two or three inches taller than that. And uh, so right now the antenna is the tallest uh, of anything sticking up on, on top of the camper. So it's about two inches, two and a half inches above the new air conditioner that we put on. So we need that extra two inches worth of height in order to help take the camper off the truck in the garage. It's, it's that close. It's very close. Yesterday when Todd was getting out, he had to put some boards under the tires in order to move the back of the truck down just to get the camper off the out of on the truck out of the garage yeah that's right i had to like raise the front end so the back end would kind of dip down a little bit so uh it's it's definitely an issue so i figured well we're just going to basically swap it out with the same thing uh, so that way we don't have to mess with the electronics or anything inside just swap the handle out and and the unit on top and then uh, we're going to put some snap pads on here in just a little bit but we're going to go ahead and jump up on the roof and try to get the old one off. Okay, before I climb up on the roof, the box, it did come with a new uh, handle controller, which I could actually use the original one that's in there. It also came with the, uh, the wall mount uh, antenna on and off, as well as an extension if you have a real thick roof. But let me show you inside real quick. Inside here, basically, I already took the, the handle down, took the knob off, so basically I'm just gonna remove that. And then this part right here is what sticks up through the roof and that turns the antenna. So uh, hopefully I can just take the new one off or the old one off on top and slide the new one down through this and then use the same system there. So that's, that's the plan. Is this gonna be easy, Carla? Should be, but uh, that's famous last words. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. If you're interested in doing either of these projects, um, the antenna, we found it on Amazon, and the snap pads we got on eTrailer, we'll put a link below to both of those in case you're interested. As you can see here, the antenna does stick up well above our new air conditioner. So that's the whole reason I'm going to take it off. I did just put some fresh sealant around there, so got a lot of sealant to take off. It's basically the exact same thing, just an old version. <sighs> Sealant's thick. Takes a lot to hold it on, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> probably mainly the sealant probably holding it on more than anything. Yeah, probably. Sorry about all the lawnmower noises, but both of our neighbors right now are cutting their lawn and uh, that's what happens when you live in a neighborhood and you're trying to film YouTube videos. <laughs> Lawn mowers, chainsaws, blowers, always something. It's always something. And loud birds. And birds. Especially around here. There it comes. Looks like it's got some butyl tape underneath. Oh, yeah. Got the, got the lap sealing around the outside and butyl tape underneath. Yep. As you can see, there's a pretty big difference about three inch difference between these two so with this new one it's going to sit about level with the air conditioner so it should make a big difference on giving us extra two two and a half inches in the garage so today is actually the next day we ran into a little hiccup of mounting the antenna yesterday so 
thanks to Amazon, we were able to order the part we need. I needed a different splitter than what I had. I had a, uh, here's the splitter I had to get with um, two male ends and one female end. And the other one was a three-way uh, male end splitter. So I had to order this off Amazon, it came overnight, so that's awesome. Now I can go ahead and get back to the install and hopefully it shouldn't take much longer. Here's why I needed the new splitter. As you can see, I got two, I got the coax cable here and then this one here goes to the little controller that's inside where you can basically tune the antenna. And then here's the bottom of the new antenna. It has this end on it, which the original, um, the other antenna had the same end as this. So in order to get it to work, I had to get this, this uh, splitter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this back together. It's not gonna cover as much space here, so it's gonna basically kinda just come across here and forward. And then some of these other screws, I may put them back in, uh, the ones that are not covered up, and then just seal them as well with the, the new sealant. So I'm just about to put the antenna down. I'm gonna put some butyl tape around the bottom side of the antenna. That's how the original was done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it the same way. The instructions actually say that you can use some sealant around the bottom, uh, but that's basically what this is gonna do. So I'm gonna put butyl tape and then I'm gonna put some lap sealant around the bottom of the antenna and over uh, the screws and that sort of thing. Okay, I'm gonna push this down through. Are you ready? Just make sure the cord wasn't wrapped around. Did it go forward or backwards or what? Uh, there we go. Well, that's because of the butyl tape. Okay, I had a little issue putting the dial back on since the thickness of the roof. Uh, I tried using the original screw, just wasn't quite long enough. Uh, so I got a slightly longer screw, maybe three eighths of an inch longer, and then put the dial back on and actually it seems to work fine. I can just push the button, turn the antenna. We did try the TV and uh, everything seems to be working. We're getting signal, so we're good to go. Okay, so the antenna is installed, or it's in place, and so now I gotta put some screws down on it and put some sealing around it. And you can hear our new AC working. It's not even that loud. Feels nice and cool inside the camper. Gonna go ahead and finish this up. I got it screwed down. Now, it did not come with any screws for some reason. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but I did have some stainless steel screws. So I went ahead and used that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put down some self-leveling lap sealant. I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of this excess lap sealant off. All right, there it is, there's the finished product. I went a little overboard with the lap sealant, but why not? I'm not gonna use the rest of the tube anyhow, so might as well put way more than, than I probably need, but it's all sealed up. All right, I got the antenna down. It's looking good. It's ready to go camping. It's just the lap sealant's got to dry. But other than that, uh, but let's go ahead and check the whole reason that we're swapping this antenna out. Let's check the height up against the air conditioner and see how it looks. Well, there you go. The antenna is about the same height as the AC, maybe even a little bit lower. So that's good. Uh, before it was way up here. And uh, now it's down nice and low, so we'll be able to take the camper off of the truck in the garage and have two, two and a half inches to spare. Now we're gonna install some snap pads, and I've been wanting some of these for several years. I got a set of four on e-trailer, so if you're interested, there'll be a link below. But I've actually been looking for some snap pads for years, like I said, with uh, for some happy jacks on all of our other campers. I could not find that they made them, but now that we have the Atwood jacks on our Lance, they actually do make them for that. It comes in a five and a half inch circle. You can get square and round, whatever the, you know, the leg, the jack is that, that you have, the foot of it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray some lubricant on the snap pad and I'm going to spray some underneath the, the foot here and just run the jack down 
and it's going to press right into the snap pad and it'll just stay on there. And uh, one of the big benefits about this, or two of the big benefits I, I feel, are they are an inch thick so they add an extra inch, inch worth of height uh, to the leg as well as they kind of widen the footprint of the, the foot of the jack so that way if you're on softer dirt or gravel or something like that it just gives you a wider footprint to help it be more stable so we're going to go ahead and spray some uh, lubricant on there i'm just using some pb blaster i know some people use some dish soap and some other things but uh, it's just you know what i'm going to use and we're going to go ahead and snap it on So there it is, the snap pads just snap right on. A little bit of lubricant helps. Uh, we bought these on e-trailer and I think they're around $110 for the set of four for these jacks. Uh, they also make them for fifth wheels and all that other stuff in different sizes. So, you know, depending on the size is obviously gonna depend on the price of them. But, uh, so check them out on e-trailer. I'm excited to have them. They're gonna make a big difference when we take a camper off when we're out camping. All right, well that's a wrap on our two upgrades on our snap pads and our new antenna, King Jack antenna. And remember what I said, quick and easy? It's never quick and easy. Never, never quick and easy. <laughs> Just two little, what should be easy projects took end up taking two days because we had to order that one little splitter for the TV, but that's the way it goes sometimes, you never know. So just gotta be prepared to have it take a little longer than you think it might gonna take but anyhow not Next a big weekend deal we're going camping so we'll, so we'll get out and enjoy our camper yeah that's right so <laughs> looking forward to that if you're still watching appreciate you hanging around and uh please like subscribe share and we'll see you next time on runaway roses bye-bye bye-bye